Hey, four GK family. Good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me, losing my voice from this weekend still. So, while I was away this weekend, uh, one of the presenters that was there was a friend of mine who, um, she works in a very tactical division of a law enforcement agency, and her sole purpose is to enter dangerous situations and remove the children. So whether it is an active domestic incident or it is a human trafficking incident. Her job is to, while everybody else is going in to get the bad guys, her job is to go in, get the kids, take them out, and keep them safe until the trial is complete. Um, one of the things we talked about was um, that her information says that the number one source of child trafficking is uh, Fortnite. And the number two source for child trafficking is a game called Apex, which is up and coming. She says that the number one target for child traffickers right now, for human traffickers right now, is boys between the ages of 10 and 12. So not always what we would think about. Um, now, this doesn't mean Fortnite or Apex or any other game is inherently evil. It simply means that we need to really be mindful about uh, what we allow our kids to do and the conversations that they have in these live environments. So she says that the uh, way that they are luring these boys in is by offering uh, Xbox, or, Xbox or PlayStation cards with uh, valuable codes on them, cheat codes or memory cards worth a couple hundred bu bucks. So they go in, they pose as peers. They say, hey, I, I got these things. If you want one, you know, I'll give it to you for free because I got an extra one, just meet me after school or come on down to the park or meet me down at the grocery store, wherever it is. So they've already been tracking your child's whereabouts. Um, they know where they are, what schools they're in, what patterns they're in because they're getting these in, uh, bits of information out of your kids. And then they're offering something that because of the addictive nature of video games, these kids really want. Things like Fortnite, you often can't get ahead without getting the next thing or, or sometimes even in-app purchases. Um, so they're providing them this, wow, $200 worth of stuff for free. Um, and it's led to now Fortnite becoming a harvesting ground for young boys. So, you know, it's scary, but here's what's scarier. So I got home Sunday night, came in, taught classes last night, and as I was getting ready to go to bed, I go through my social media and make sure I've you know, caught up on everything. And I saw somebody saying in one of the martial arts groups that I'm in, hey, my son wants to get this Fortnite game. What's it all about? So I posted that little tidbit of information, the same thing I just said here. And then I put my phone down and I went to sleep. I woke up this morning. Uh, I opened to make sure I don't have any messages or anything. And the very first thing I see is somebody responding to my post, oh my God, this weekend, somebody offered my child a $200 PlayStation code card and asked them, my child, to come, I'm getting goosebumps right now, right? So this is not something like a fear factor, you know, keep your kids away from video games. This is, be aware of your children. I mean, we have some good kids in 4GK but they're still kids and these predators are, are masters at what they do. I wish they would have picked something beneficial to humankind because they are really good at what they do. So please, please, please check what your kids are doing. Watch what they do while you play these video games um, or even text. You know, we can do a whole series on apps that the kids are using and what the most dangerous apps are. Um, so, you know, I can't say it enough. Please watch what your kids are doing. Um, I'm going to see if my friend uh, can work with me. I know she has some limits probably because of her job as to what she's allowed to do um, outside of her job. But I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to see if maybe we can even get together one day and we'll put together a whole course uh, for you guys because this is a real scary thing that's happening in our kids' lives. And we want to give them and you the tools 
to be able to get past it, to be able to enjoy the things that you want to enjoy without having to worry about, will my child come home as, after running down to the park to meet a friend real quick? All right, so if you have questions, let me know. It didn't come from me, so I don't have all the answers, but I'll be happy to pass it along. Um, I don't know how public she wants to be because of the nature of her job, but you know, I'll be happy to pass that along and see what answers I can get for you. All right, now, don't let this fear control your day. Remember, we wanna be prepared, not paranoid. So go enjoy your day. Then when you see your kids, give them a hug, sit them down, have a little chat. I'll see you guys later.